Hello and welcome again. So this is race two from St. Croix in the south of France. This is the Ultimate Racing League, sponsored by UpshiftStore.co.uk, DigitalMotorsports.com and Pineapple Grips. This is round five of our BTCC Replica Championship. So let's get to that grid. So based on the finishing positions from race one, everyone going with the mediums here in this, this time. So as I, as I say, no advantages for anybody. So Team Silver, pole position, Lanch in second, Dyson third, Ginger fourth, Potsy fifth, Tom in sixth, Firepower seventh, and get smurfed in eighth. Let's see what start these boys get. It's mid middle of the day now, as you can see. Sun's up. Temperature's rising. The air temperature and the track temperature. So revs are up. Lights will be on and away we go. Another shocking start for the Scirocco. So there you go. Lost three places already, but Lance then takes it up. Ginger having a look up the inside of Dyson though. Try and get himself in the second. Oh, Ginger just going out wide, but I think he was just trying to give Dyson a bit of space, but Dyson's up on the inside of him. So Dyson up the second. Lance though. Taking up the lead. Dyson second. Ginger third. Oh, and Lance, I think he just got a bit out of shape. He's going to allow Dyson right up his backside now. And he is. So the battle resumes from race one. Continuation here. I think it's going to be like that for the next, this race and the next one, and possibly into the, final, the sixth and final round next time out. It's going to go right down to the wire. It's the way we like it. The Dyson end attacking Lanch. He's up the side of him. He's going to get him. But he's on the outside. It's just whether he's going to go around the outside. It's be a tough ask if he can. And he does. But I don't think he's going to keep it there. Lanch is going to keep going. Going to battle him. But Dyson still got it. And he did go around there. So he did manage to keep it. Great move from Dyson. Quite a tough one that. Got to be quite accurate on your braking. Oh, and Dyson and Dirt Lanch hits the barriers. Going to lose a whole lot of time now. Team Silver in third. It's going to be right on the back of Lanch now. In fact, he's got Team Silver and the two GTRs of Ginger and Potsy behind him now. They're attacking him. But he's still there in second. Got a good run out through there, actually, did Team Silver. But Jay Dyson, though, out in front. Putting it away a little bit. And is that Ginger going out of time? He is. Ginger, get yourself up to second place. Great move from Ginger. Broke a bit later, got himself around the outside, got himself into second. So, Ginger, is he gonna uh, go and hunt down Dyson? Why not? It's good to see Ginger up there. Someone else having a bit of a battle with the guys up there. Lance dropping down to fourth now, because uh, Team Silver. Third. Ginger now has dropped down to third. I don't know if he just tagged that wall there, but Team Silver's got him. So Team Silver through to second. So I wonder, can Ginger keep it on the track? Keep it in that position. And just as I say that, he can't keep it on the track and he's grass cutting again, but he's not going to lose. Or well, he's going to lose one spot maybe to Lanch. He does. So Lanch gets through to third, Ginger fourth. Potsy right behind him in fifth. And then there's a small gap back to Firepower in sixth place. So it looks like he's having a slightly better race this time round. And then we've got Tom in seventh. And then gets smurfed at the back in eighth. So struggling a little bit tonight, he's getting smurfed. So I'm not sure why, but maybe just doesn't fancy it tonight. Who knows? Oh, and there's that someone off. Oh, I think I see a flash. I think Tom did go off a bit there. That was that camber and that bumps that I was telling you about. And he's going to lose a spot to Smurf, and he did. So it's definitely Tom, wasn't it? So he's back down to eighth now. So this little battle at the back. Let's have a look up front and see how the battle's getting on. Well, there's not much of a battle there, is there? Dyson's off and running. But is there a battle here? Well. Not really, Team Silver's pulled away a little bit, so front two. 
just getting away from the rest. And that's Lange, Ginger, Potsy, and Ginger's having attacking uh, Team Silver gets through. Uh, Lange, sorry, as I say, and he drops all the way back down to fifth, so both GTRs get through. Ginger and Potsy. Good to see the GTRs up there battling it out with the boys up top. This is the best part of the track, I love it through there. All the little dips. As you go through flat out, it's great. Bit of section that. Ginger. Oh, and it's not quite there. Potsy under attack from Lanch now. I think Lanch is going to get him, he does. Just. Or maybe not. Potsy's got it back, so Potsy. Now, is he going to. Get him around the outside, think he might. Well, maybe not then. Got a great little battle there for fourth and fifth. Obviously, just had to give Lance the space there a little bit, allowed him to get through. And now Lance is attacking the back of Ginger. Firepower, there he is, not that far off the back of these either, so if these can carry on five minutes into the race. Plenty of time for him to catch up with this lot. Ginger still being hounded by Lanch. Lanch knows he needs to make up another spot or two if he can, because with Jay Dyson out top, out front, is uh, losing points on him again. Uh, Ginger not making it easy, defending. The left hand up, just pulled across to the left and then didn't allow Lange to, to get up there. Lange with a bit of a squiggle on. Still remains in fourth. So it's a good, good showing here from Ginger, to be fair. This is more like the Ginger that I know. Now he's pulling across to the right. Lange trying to follow him, in fact, Orf trying to follow his slip. But Ginger flat through the right hander there. That kink really is not really a, a bend, is it? It's a sort of a just a slight little uh, corner. Potsy up the inside of Lange gets there. Does he get there? Does he keep it? He doesn't. Oh, he got up there, but then he just didn't have the drive out of the, the turning, and uh, Lange got there. So Lange then up to fourth, or stays in fourth, I should say. Firepower, meanwhile, in sixth. He's getting on the back of this little battle, as I said. There they are, look, not that far in front of him. And then there's a bit of a gap, quite a big gap actually back to get Smurfed and Tom. So firepower not under any pressure from behind. He certainly fancies getting involved with the, uh, the guys up front. And why not? Look at this, what a drive he got through there. He's right up the back of Potsy now, his firepower. He's going to have a look. Not far enough up, so he'll stay in sixth, but if he can just stay where he is. It's down the track and up the top, it's just as I say, that ginger was going off with Lanch, I believe. They were both battling quite hard and they went out onto the grass, but Firepower's up there. I think he's got... not quite. Can he get him up here on the switchback? Not... no. Oh, that's a bit wide, pot seat. Firepower still in sixth then. Oh, and pot seat. Seemed to slow down there, didn't get that drive again, did he? Firepower certainly did. So, just stick with this a sec. And we'll see as I head round this right hand onto the bridge. Yeah, firepower attacking. Lanch still behind Ginger, ahead of them in third and fourth. So, it's actually looking like a, a mirror image, isn't it? GTR. The Red McGann, the GTR and the Red McGann, so... It's like you're seeing double vision. Oh, power taking that wider line, now we sweep it to the inside apex. Tries to get the inside line and cut it back. On Potsy now, it's a good drive out there again, he's going to get him for sure, and he's already got him, I think. Now, as they head down to this next right hand kink, he got the power to stick with the GTR, not quite, but he's going to stick on the outside. 
Now, oh, he's done the brakes. Late, he's done the brakes. Who's it going to be? Potts, he's still got it. Firepower did think about it. Again, tight line from Firepower. And he's got there. Firepower, can he stay there, though? Because he's on the outside now, but then he'd be on the inside. Now he does get there. Great move from Firepower. So that's a great little battle that went on for a little while there. Firepower got through, though, in the end. Hot seat into sixth. Just have a quick look at that battle up in front of them. Well, Lancer got through as well. So now it's reverse, isn't it? The McGann's have got past both GTRs. So see how Team Shield was getting on with closing down Giant Dyson, and he has closed him down. And we're, what, 10 minutes into this race, so five or six minutes left. So has Team Silver got enough in the tank to catch Dyson? Looks like the medium tyres are working well. On everybody's car, really. And they would do is middle of the day, the, the, uh, the sun's out, the track's hot. So they should really be working at their peak. He's definitely catching him, I think, Team Silver. But, Jay Dyson won't mind that so much, really. I mean, of course, he'll want to win, but it would be a different story if it was Lance coming up behind him. So, if you can see Team Silver, he's not really a threat in the championship. So, he's not going to have to worry too much. As I say, he's not going to be giving him the, uh, the lead, but... Team Silver then, and I think maybe Jay Dyson's just responded slightly to the pressure from Team Silver. That's going to go right down to the end. So let's just see how Lance is getting on. Yeah, he's clear now, Ginger, and the rest isn't he? So Lance is doing his utmost to try and get onto the back of the two leaders, but he's uh, quite a way back. He's really going to have to push to catch them and work with 11 minutes gone. It's going to be a tall order. So I think the best he's going to hope for, really, is third place, which is still good. He's on the podium, but would have wanted more, of course. It's not over yet, is it? So, you don't count the chickens yet. Right, battled up top. Yeah, Team Silver's actually has called it back up again, so he's closing the gap a little bit more. So as they start lap six, 12 minutes in. Round turn one. Nicely round now. Team Silver as well. Lanch and then Ginger and now Firepower he's got through to fifth and he's on the back of Ginger now let's have a look see how this goes so Firepower again we had to quite a line and that's how much ground he's made up because he was uh, made up quite a few car levers there just around that turn he's right up behind the Ginger now if you can get it clean through this next section it's through this next right hand up. Get the power on early. Oh, and Ginger might have just tagged the barrier, so that might help Firepower's cause. So, this is definitely where the battle is at the moment, guys. So, Firepower after race one. Oh, and again, Ginger hit the barrier, so he's getting under pressure from Firepower, and it is the pressure from. The guy behind that's doing it for Ginger. He was having a reasonably clean race with Ginger up to that point. Now he's just making a few little mistakes. But it is all down to the pressure. And he knows, obviously, that Firepower's right behind him. He was in this position before, wasn't he? With Lance behind him. They're following his lead everywhere he goes. So let's just see what happens down here at this right hand up. If they can both keep it on track. Again, tight a line for firepower. 
It's not far enough up yet, but he's very close behind. What a battle this is for fourth or fifth. Head down to the final turn now. And the same as it was. Now that battle up top looks close, so let's just flick back to that for a second. Yeah, and Team Silver, this is as close as he's been all race. But this is the final lap now, so has he timed it to perfection? Remember, he won race one. So has he timed this? And if he can get right up behind Jay Dyson by the end of this lap, he might claim his second victory. It's been quite a quiet championship really for Team Silver this time round. Obviously had a, a good one last time. Didn't have the best of starts here. A few technical issues and other issues going on, but uh, looks like he's back on it again. So I think actually I'm going to stick with this as long as I can. Yes, we are on the final lap and it's just whether Team Silver's got any more that he can give. Oh, good drive again, out and out, and right up behind him now is Team Silver, so I'm going to definitely stick with this to the end, sorry guys, but uh, oh, pulls out now, does Team Silver, out the slip, looks for the inside, does get out, Jack Dyson still hanging on to first just. But Team Silver is going to be up the inside of him, and he is, there he is, on a move, there we go. Now, with just a few more turns to the checkered flag, this could be a great finish from Team Silver. Jay Dyson will, of course, take second, but after leading the race for so long, going to be a bit disappointed to lose it. Right at the end, but he's still gaining more points on Lange from his own perspective. So here we go. Team Silver, he has won it. So it's two out of two. Well played. Team Silver, victory number two. Dyson with a second place there. So another great outing by him. Lange will come in third. So second and third for the uh, title favourites. Ginger, good fall for Ginger. Have a good show in here, race two. Firepower didn't quite get there, did he? But he gets fifth place for Firepower. Potsy coming in in sixth. And then Tom in seventh. Did gain a little bit on uh, Potsy, didn't he, in the end? And then gets smurfed. Who's not had his best evening so far. He's going to round it off in eighth. And uh, actually, race two. One more race here in this round I'll be coming up shortly so join me then and uh, I'll see you then